full employment exists when the economy has neither structural nor frictional unemployment when the economy has no cyclic unemployment and when the economy has no frictional unemployment so first let us try to look at the different kind of unemployment now a structural unemployment occurs when there is a technological change and the people are rendered jobless because they are not able or they are not qualified enough to handle that technology so a structural structural unemployment employment unemployment is characterized by changes in the technology such that the skills of the match, the skills of the workers does not match up with the requirement of the technology so that kind of unemployment is known as un structural unemployment whereas a frictional employment occurs frictional unemployment occurs when employees quit their job to seek other opportunities or are fired from a company not because of the change in the business cycle but because of personal reason so the frictional unemployment happens when an employee is fired or he quits a job because of personal reasons it has nothing to do with the changes in the technology or the state of the business cycle however a cyclic unemployment is associated with the business cycle if the economy is under expansion when the gdp is greater than potential gdp then this state is known as expansion and my cyclic unemployment cycle unemployment will go down however when gdp is less than potential gdp then this state is characterized as economic contraction and my cyclical unemployment will go up however the full at the, at the condition of the full employment there is neither expansion nor contraction and the gdp is equal to potential gdp so in this case the cyclical unemployment is equal to zero so the correct option is option b that at full employment the gdp will be equal to its potential value and the cyclical unemployment will be equal to zero however there will be structural and or the frictional unemployment